Hell yeah, <laughs> knocking shit over. Looking like the rock out this bitch. It's too quiet in here, y'all hear that? Oh, oh shit. Oh, it must mean the market is open. The market is open. You gotta ring the bell yeah. so everybody with some money can know that the market is open. <laughs> Yo. That, that bell yeah. makes money. Ring that motherfucker yeah. again. Keep yeah. ringing that Ain't shit, no. man. First of all, welcome to the trap, AKA the black market, too, because it doubles over. It's a multi purpose building. Absolutely. Yeah, welcome to the trap, man. Introduce yourself to the black marketeers and all of the people out there in the 85% nation, bro. Atlanta influences everything. It's a brand, it's a movement, man. It's happening. Welcome to the platform. Indeed. Introduce yourself. What up? Vime Joyner, one third of Atlanta influences everything. And I'm Tory, one third of Atlanta influences everything, AIE. Yeah. AIE. What, what was the motivation, inspiration behind the brand, the creation, the inception? Uh, shit, as much as we want to say, you know, something cool, it was a retort. You know, it, it came after Detroit versus everybody. They were already around. Uh, and Atlanta started doing the Atlanta versus everybody, Atlanta versus y'all, all these different shirts. And uh, our other partner, Ian, he and I had a marketing company called The Tomorrows. And we were uh, pitching a project to Nike on the, the 1996 Olympic shoes at, at the 20th anniversary. And so in Chicago, they had did a re-release of some Jordan 1s. And they told this story about how Michael Jordan really just changed the city of Chicago. And so in Atlanta, that, that would be the Olympics. So we thought that the marketing dollars that Nike spent in Chicago, that we would get the marketing dollars spent here so we came up with this campaign to do like a scavenger hunt on the Beltline and on MARTA, on some, some Willy Wonka golden ticket shit. Like, but tell, right, tell them why you did that. Oh, to Because of the shoe. Yeah, for the, for the shoe, because that's what we wanted. Oh, if y'all gonna do this Olympic shoe for Atlanta, that shifted us. We need to do this big marketing campaign. So yeah, all, they, yeah. all they were doing was a 1996 pair. That was their marketing. It was the, the, the Bo Jackson and Atlanta Peach joint? Yeah, 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 that was the one. I'm still trying to get some. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, yeah. I need and, 11. Uh, they, so we we had a dude, it's a dude who went to Doug High School, Chaos. Came out of 99, Doug. He actually made it up to Nike in Portland, worked on the shoe, which is rare for somebody from APS to, to be at Nike corporate. Right. Not Nike town. That's you know hard. I mean? And so he, he told us, and uh, Nike told us that, uh, Atlanta wasn't a, a large enough market to spend marketing dollars in. Yeah, it's motherfucking love. In the 2015. It was in the end of 2015 when everybody was dabbing. And so uh, all I could say, I told Ian, I said, damn, that's fucked up, man. You know, we don't have the bean like Chicago. We ain't as big as LA and New York, but Shit. they don't understand, man. We influence everything. And exactly. he, he caught it. He said, man, we need to we need to put it on a shirt. You know what I'm saying? It's I think it looked good on the shirt. And he was from Brooklyn. Uh, and he said, damn, I'm from Brooklyn. I don't know. But he said, I'm from Brooklyn. I went to Morehouse. I never went back to Brooklyn. So shit, it might be true. We just need to put it on the shirt and start telling stories. But we didn't know how to tell no stories. We, we knew how to market already branded products. We ain't never marketed nothing that we created from inception. And so we were getting in our own way. We already knew Tory. He was always around. Uh, he, he, he saw we was finna fumble it, you know what I'm saying? Get in our own way, say, man, y'all need to tell the company story better, but y'all can't help Atlanta tell his story better until y'all tighten up the company story. And so that's how it became a trifecta. God damn it, Tori. <laughs> <laughs> say it up, God damn, show it up and say it today. Man, <clears throat> what's that? Man? They was about to fuck this up. <laughs> And I ain't gonna lie, man. <laughs> they might have they might have dropped it, but they had what it took, but they, you know, I just came in at the right time. There we go. That's what you need though, them puzzle pieces, bro. Mm -hmm. Three the the, the uh 
triangle offense. So how has everything been since since you helped them get it together? Shit, man, it, you know, we, done, we came through some struggles, some hard times, but we knew that uh, the brand, it ain't about us. It's about community. And I think that's what's different about what we've been doing and other people because it's really been about community. So we've been giving a whole lot more than we've been getting. Yeah. But it's just like we want the money to match the love. So people been showing us love, and now it's the brand is starting to grow in ways that we probably never thought. We see people all over the world with the AIE in front of the pyramids. They in front of the Eiffel Tower. They sent, just sending it back right. just because they want to represent. And Hell they, yeah. They, don't that shit feel amazing, though? Man, it's like, it feel like... Fuck the money part. Man. It's just seeing that it's like when people can see your vision the way you see it Absolutely. and they want your shit to go to the top. Yeah. Right? People be sending me same shit like... Motherfucker was in surgery, getting some shit done in their head and was watching the 85 Top. So I was like, this is crazy. Like, the doctor literally, yeah. like, in that lady's head, and she was just like. Because <laughs> it's, it's just rare in this city where it's so many dope people. It ain't, it don't really be no hate, but niggas just rock their own shit. Yeah. Or maybe they partner shit. So I don't know <clears> you, why I don't need to rock your shit. So it's just. It's always been tough to get buy-in in Atlanta from a, a certain percentage. And you would need a certain percentage of Atlanta buy-in in order to, to tilt the scales in your favor in the city. Yeah. And so y'all y'all have been able to do that too. It's certain, you know, God is dope, certain brands, <clears throat> and it's many brands in the city. There's many, many dope ass people here. Hell yeah. But when you could get a certain cross-sector, cross-cultural buy-in from all walks of life, yeah. and they all still fuck with your brand. Yeah. Old Atlanta, New Atlanta, however, everybody, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I knew this shit was different when we had a, sh we had a show somewhere, and we was at the mall, and somebody sent us, you know the little T-shirt shit in the mall? <laughs> like they had their mall version <laughs> of our shit. <laughs> But they proud of it, though. They yeah. Said, they and they was like, like, look, yeah, nigga, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. And they was like, nigga, we fuck with y'all. I'm like, you are stealing. <laughs> <laughs> but we fuck with you, and we ain't no haters. Like, what do you mean? How did you immediately know? What, what, what? Bro, people started, like, we all went to the mall, like, some kid, and then people started sending us. Actually, before we got there, like, the week of, people were sending us uh -huh. videos from the little kiosk at the mall. You know the one that would be yeah. like, yeah, the yeah, one yeah, that yeah, had the yeah, shirt be yeah. like, his yeah. queen, her yeah, king. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they had some bootleg shit. Yeah. And they had the show shit on there and everything. And then one time, I'm pulling up at the, uh, where I was doing the tour with Mike Epps. New face, this nigga, it was a nigga outside with the bootleg shirt. <laughs> had me on that shit. And then I'm pulling up to the, yeah. yeah I'm nah. pulling up to the uh, arena. The nigga pull up to the car and get stuck. <laughs> you know, we went through that shit. And, well, we've been through it a different way, but we used to be at Cumberland. Mm -hmm. uh, Cumberland Mall, right uh, before COVID. And that shit was tough. But we was two kiosks away from the nigga who did the shirts. Damn. And then there was up, and we was upstairs, it was another nigga downstairs. Mm. And I, nigga, I caught half of the, remember the Boosie with the Kappa shirt? Yeah. He got that shit from Cumberland. From yeah. the no. shit, the nigga who made the shirts. Cause I seen, he was in Cumberland, and I seen him hold up a Kappa shirt. Arab nigga But too. I ain't seen him buy it, cause I had to deal with the nigga at our shit. But I, I remember seeing the nigga hold up the Kappa shirt at the little mm. T-shirt thing. Mm -hmm. And then maybe two days later, we went shot had on the Kappa shit. And I said, oh, he got that shit from the mall. Damn. He, he was seeing if it matched. Mm -hmm. He did it exactly. It wasn't about nothing else. That nigga had <laughs> held it up. We was like, oh, yeah, this shit is fire. Yeah. yeah. And according to the mall, nigga gonna sell it to you. Mm -hmm. and guess what he in the business of doing. <laughs> we, man, yeah. we, they was tearing us up on, like, Amazon, eBay. But the one thing is, like, when you put some shit online, even if you got, like, a website, mm -hmm. it's some kind of shit. It's like a bot or some shit. Mm -hmm. Where yeah. it just be, like, white people he wearing your shit. Wearing your shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It. Black yeah. history, mom, everything. Mm -hmm. Motherfucker got a yeah. shirt of mine with my signature and quote on it. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> these motherfuckers <laughs> is awesome. Oh, no, they wicked. They wicked, man. But you know what, though? Mm -hmm. I, I do got to say, mm -hmm. There's a black culture influence everything. I forgot the name of them folks, and I understand. I understand that they don't understand, but I understand. I, I ain't mad at that. I have to say though, we ain't never been. We've been bootlegged via our brand, 
Mm. But ain't nobody else put Day City. Ain't nobody, as far as I know, that has not been attempted yet with somebody else's city. Mm. Cause can't nobody else really say that. It's not from not not black. As much as you might want to. You can't say that in black, you know. Not, not meaning black. You can't. Yeah, you're right. Because black culture influences everything. Like black people. And what's black in Atlanta? Shit. <laughs> it ain't a lot of places yeah. that's blacker than Atlanta. Africa. Yeah. I don't even, yeah. Straight up. Shit, we got Africans in this bitch too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Straight they up. ripping the hell out yeah. of the A too. Love it. And ain't going nowhere. Yeah. I don't blame them. I'll be telling black people wherever you live, I don't know how you don't live mm -hmm. in Atlanta. Right. But it's a, um, I'll tell you this, man, we've been growing. Mm. We had every sports team reach out to us to do a partnership, partnership, um, all types of big brands. Shit, you better do it. We just did a partnership with the Hawks. Oh, yeah, we know. That shit was hard. Oh, we know. That shit was hard. Man, it's fire. I need that velour. Shit. That did, velour, shit. You fuck with it. For sure. Okay, man. I need that. Hey, mm -hmm. re do it. Yeah. Just, to, just because. For the experience. Absolutely. Just so, who, like you said, whoever's watching can know that it's not just that. We right. can do corporate, mm -hmm. we can mm -hmm. do street, right. we can do executive, right. we can do fashion, spring, do whatever it, it is. But like, it was something he said, though, <clears throat> in terms of like Atlanta. You heard the, the book that Humans in New York? The book? It's a book called Humans in New York where they just tell. Cause New York a transient city too. I mean, I've it, seen the YouTube. Series. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and yeah. the Instagram crazy yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he said Atlanta. We always get mad, you know, when somebody don't understand that we did something first, or that that they don't really understand who we are and why we do what we do. But it's a it's a it's a retort. It's a reaction. But a relationship, you know, what I'm saying, is a twofold relationship. So you. It's a natural love, and you, in order to maintain the relationship, you gotta communicate. And we, what we found out was the folks that's in charge of Atlanta brand, which is the Atlanta Convention and Visitors Bureau, where the hotel, motel, tax, all that shit go, they not really showing the footage of what we know, why we know Atlanta influenced everything. So the story ain't being told correctly. And Tori was like, <clears throat> we gotta start getting these stories. It's, 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 it's so many stories that if the world knew, we wouldn't have to be thumping our chest so much. They'll be telling us we influence everything. Mm -hmm. But we, we weren't controlling the narrative. But don't nobody disagree when they see it. I know, bro. But sometimes Atlanta niggas be taking credit for everything, and you know it. <laughs> right. Niggas in Atlanta got the most ridiculous what claims they, to shit. What they niggas do. in Atlanta invented pink lemonade. Niggas at Green Brown Mall, swear to God, nigga. Never seen no pink lemonade before, nigga. All lemonade was yellow until right. Atlanta niggas started fucking with it. <laughs> and then cross it all like that. I put that on every, every end, nigga. You put a period on oh, my On <laughs> every pink, pink lemonade and the Chick fil A and Green Brown Mall, nigga. The first Green Brown, first Chick fil A at the mall on my mama, nigga. Hey, ready to fight. Nigga from Atlanta been smoking blunt since the 1800s. <laughs> the slaves in, 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 in Atlanta, nigga, started that shit. Big blood, he ain't talking about it. Hey, you said big blood. Big blood, he ain't talking about it. Excuse me. That's, yeah. real, That's the realest shit out of here. You, you, you ain't told me. I've been that. coming to this city since 88, bro. You know. My pops used to live out here. I spent every summer in Atlanta. You love it? Love this shit. Love Ain't no back. place like this shit, bro. Because mm -hmm. whatever you want to get into, you can do it. You can be whatever you want. You can go to the club. You can go to the country. Mm -hmm. Nigga, you can go shopping. You can go hustling. Go to you church. can go to church. Mm -hmm. You can go, you can stop and get some gas, 30 <clears> socks, <throat> and a right. real plate at the same spot. At the same spot. <laughs> but see, yeah. look at that. Tell, tell them about your mama. When you came down here, mm -hmm. we were talking about Minister Society Boys in the Hood at yeah, the end. Of, I say that all the time. They was everybody was trying to get to Atlanta. Both movies. Exactly. But he <clears> said <throat> we would it would seem like to other black folk that Atlanta had the answers. Yeah, had the answers, streets was paved with gold. They until just, a nigga like Curtis Snow be the nigga that done greeted you. Like they <laughs> they're like they didn't believe what Curtis Snow was here. They just mm -hmm. felt like No, nah, they thought everybody was Dr. King. It's like <laughs> if where we from is so wild and fucked up. It's like, just send him there. If he go there, he gonna come back Dr. King. <laughs> they thought 
Atlanta was just making Dr. King. But Atlanta will inspire you, because you will see some niggas with some shit that you ain't never seen niggas with. Oh, for sure. Yeah. You think just because a motherfucker in a Lambo or a Ferrari, you supposed to look in there and know who the fuck they is? No, yeah, you don't just... know. Bro, there's so many black people out here who got a real ass check who are not famous. Right. I'm talking about with real money. With real money. Mm-hmm. Wealthy. Mm-hmm. Yes. Listen, and Atlanta condition you to think when you pull up on any luxury form, it's a black person in it. Yeah. This is the only city where you see a Lambo and you see a white dude and you're like, oh shit, all right. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> shit, do your thing. <laughs> That's the truth. You think a nigga gonna be in it. Right? I knew this shit was different when I seen the mailman. That nigga had all gold to you, nigga. East side <laughs> tattooed on his forehead. Oh, yeah. Tatted all the way up, right. nigga. Mailman right. though. Yeah. Putting mail in the box. Yeah. <laughs> Straight out the trap. Yeah. I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> sure. You might see a black woman that's the police chief. It's fine. Old oh, black yeah. dude, that nigga, the, the fire chief. Whole damn fire department full of real niggas. Shit. Yeah, the yeah. mayor. Niggas used to play football. What? Yeah, a lot of niggas who used to play football in Atlanta, firefighters, they end up just being. How about, don't hero. nobody never mention these cold ass Atlanta bus drivers, though. These niggas look like they about to hit you and they swerve oh, yeah. you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm talking about yeah, yeah. coming yeah. straight yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. Driving like a, bot, like a bot Chevy. What? Them, them, them. See a nigga yeah. driving a motor train like this, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. And the shit, she hollering at you like you, yeah. And to get up <laughs> and put hands Whole on Whole airport you. black as hell. Everybody mm-hmm. working at the airport That's black. General manager down to the, the, the <clears> damn luggage but nigga. Shit. Everybody. The busiest airport in the world, bro. And everybody and black. everybody black. Since his trust, trust got a bank black. and it's ran by some black folks. Come on. That's like, when we when we say it, everybody think you think rappers. Nope. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But bro, some cool bro, ass black Atlanta people Atlanta been out here. doing this shit for the so long. The Publix on Camp Creek is like a club. Come on, nigga. The some motherfuckers in there with heels on, bro. The Publix up 20, what's that, Glenwood? That new, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know you're talking about. That's, it is a club. They got a wine bar in the public, in the, not Publix, in Kroger. Bro, if you ain't never been to the Walmart on Old National, don't talk to me. Oh, my God. Right. That's all I'm going to say. You ain't been here. This is the only Walmart that they let niggas run. They done dimmed the lights in this bit. <laughs> <laughs> Am I bullshitting? <laughs> <Right. laughs> Yo. But I, I gotta say, so our, our our business model is weird because it's the it's the sale of the shirt. But our our business model is really based on your success, as well as a lot of other people's success. Cause we selling how dope we are. So it's like Eddie, every time y'all do some dope shit, it's like yeah, they told you that. That make, you know yeah. like, make it more true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it make it more true. And so it's it's it's. Predicated upon everybody else being just as dope, you're only as strong as your weakest link. Mm-hmm. But then, and we, and it's the sale of the shirt. But how we work, why, and how we work in community is because uh, it just. I'm from the West End, man, I, and I just H. Rap Brown, Iman L. I mean, I come from like yeah, yeah, get free, mm. OG. But uh, you know, community engagement, man, like. Atlanta just didn't even fall out the sky and become this black mecca. It was, it, it's policy. It was certain things that was done here from a, a, a mayoral policy perspective that made it a safe place. And we got to keep it that. And so while we influence everything, but then you start getting the numbers back though. And the numbers, certain numbers don't equate to the shit that we talk. So the, the number one in income inequality uh, so we got you the gotta, largest you, you gap. You gotta explain yeah, what that means. I am. I, yeah. You know, the largest gap between the rich and poor in the country, and we have a 4% upward mobility rate. So if you're born poor in Atlanta, 96% chance you're gonna die poor. And what I found out yeah, a long time ago. Don't let that be the case, nigga. Move to Augusta yeah. and come back. <laughs> don't fucking just stay there and die poor. Yeah. Go to Macon, yeah. get on your feet. <laughs> Go stay that's, with your folks in Columbus. Don't that's fucking. Real. Don't die. Move around. Move come hey, back. Shit. And, and on some property, cause what you what you find out is uh they said that there are 
There are no poor white people in Atlanta. So we talking about Atlanta. No, proper. it is in Atworth, though. More Amaretta Atlanta. Yeah. So Atlanta proper. There's some <clears throat> poor white people around this bitch now. Ooh, I'm telling you. They said they in, in Atlanta proper. Ride up the Cherokee County back. looking something oh, well, trailer we park. But we talking about well, where you can vote for the mayor. I'm Atlanta. telling you to all the poor white people yeah, smart they, enough they, to move they, the they, fuck they, out of they, Atlanta. Yeah, down. They would be poor. They, they, they would they be stay. fucked up they if they lived downtown. They be bad. And that's just us now. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we just, if we influence everything and we know influence is worth money, you know what I'm saying? Chad, now everybody can't be as funny. Is me? Yeah. Like, I know that. Okay, I know. <laughs> you know what I mean? I've been in the industry with these niggas. Yeah, 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 I've that been, real talk. I've been waiting. Real talk. Right. But, but a nigga like Chad, or just certain other. What you mean? Uh, I taught that nigga everything he know. <laughs> oh, shit. Ask him. When I met Chad, <laughs> that, that nigga was in high school, <laughs> fucking up. <laughs> I got this nigga all his jobs he had in his life except one. <laughs> Ask him. Which, I would try. Well, I was trying to say. I would try. I to, know what you're trying to. <laughs> I know this nigga. I built him. I got this nigga a job when he didn't have no references. He taking taking credit for your work. That's my nigga. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, we can build a lot of chats. It's no, we can't. Only I can build this nigga. <laughs> You want to build a chat? You go to your local high school. <laughs> Find you one nigga who don't give a fuck about nothing or nobody. That's him. Sit in the college. <laughs> Man. Don't believe it. That's my nigga. Yeah, that's he real. know. Chad a real nigga, real. if somebody ran in here and tried to shoot me, Chad gonna jump in front of me. I done seen that nigga life multiple right. times. He owe you a life. What? Yo. Man. Yo. That's really that, nigga, chat. that nigga cold. Yeah, for sure. Did you know I had to talk him into being cold, though? Nah, uh -uh. I had to talk, had to tell this nigga, nah. stop thinking about that bullshit. Get the money. Hang up. Yeah. I had to hang up on him. He had to tighten he up. He ain't get it. You had to tighten him up. Man. He cold, though. Did somebody do you like that? Mm -mm. That's why I did him like See, that. that show, that's yeah. our business part. That was, yeah. We fill in the gap what we ain't get. Bruh, you can't do business with people that you can't disagree with. Word. God damn. And disagreeing about business ain't personal. Mm. You right. It's just like, y'all in business, right? Mm-hmm. If this nigga see the brand being bigger than motherfucking Gucci and Tom Ford, and mm -hmm. that's, you ain't gonna, he not gonna settle for, well, maybe we should just start. Fuck that! No, mm -hmm. that's too low! That's me. Exactly. <laughs> that's you gotta have that. That's but that's the one yeah. thing people be afraid right. to hear. If you can't even disagree with the motherfucker that surrounds you without it changing the whole dynamic of the relationship. Mm -hmm. It ain't fuck you. Yeah. It's that this. Fuck that bullshit. That bullshit. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. if you think small, you get small yeah. shit. Yeah. Why the fuck would we smoke on this small Why ass shit? We, yeah, when we could be doing something else. Exactly. That Kanye West shit, it mm -hmm. gotta sound crazy. Indeed. Exactly. What they say? One thing about smart motherfuckers. They sound dumb. To stupid motherfucker. Exactly. Yeah. That shit gotta sound yeah. crazy, bro. It gotta, you gotta, it gotta be, it gotta yeah. be crazy. You gotta aim for the moon. Yeah. So even if you miss, you're amongst the star. Come on. And Atlanta, Atlanta's <clears throat> a safe place for that. A lot of places you be done did that, it gonna cost you something. Atlanta, man, it's a, it's a place where you can fail. Especially if you move around the way you said, you know what I'm saying? You got to. You got to all the way get the hell up out of here, but you just keep moving, you know what I'm saying? It's a good place to fail and gather yourself. I know oh, it'll humble you too. Because yeah. you'll see too know. you'll see a lot of success. Mm -hmm. And then when you see somebody be successful mm -hmm. with less than you, mm -hmm. with less resources mm -hmm. and making more happen, that's when you're gonna really realize that you bullshit. Mm -hmm. There you go. You need that example sometimes. Shh. But the but the the realness is when I see you know, all of us, I mean, y'all, us, everybody, <clears throat> really trying to, what I call, buy our free papers. You understand what I'm saying? Like, we trying to buy our freedom still, like, in my opinion. I got to make myself think that, so I go crazy. Like, go hard at this shit. I don't never, like, it's not a, a moment where I feel cool, relaxing. Now, I take time for myself, mental health, but you got to go and be serious about this shit. Yeah. About all you do. 
but it's worth nothing if you ain't pumping back into the community. Yeah. If you ain't trying to build up the people coming behind you or even the ones next to you, like network across the same way. I might holler at Chad, get him on the phone about something that, you know, we done, we built the bridge and in and, and record time. But as y'all rise and we rise, we know those phone calls could always be made. Yeah. And like the attitude you had to pull him up, he gonna always had that attitude to pull somebody else up. And that's what we gotta always do. We gotta continuously be pulling each other up because honestly, man, we ain't that far from Free in the land. Bro, when we first started this shit, I was bringing all kind of motherfuckers around, and they was like, Lo Smoke, where you find these scraggling ass people? I'm like, bro, trust me. Uh, these motherfuckers got, got, got some shit that don't yeah, nobody else got. Yeah. And then once they started seeing this shit, I was like, fuck it, told you. I that's, ain't missed that's yet. Com that's building community, right? Yeah. And that's what we supposed to be doing. I think that's part of like the, the entertaining like, comedian, though, yeah. is like, a motherfucker, sometimes people be in the middle of the struggle, be right in front of a nah, breakthrough. Man. Oh. And it ain't even about what you can do for somebody, it's where you can put them. Mm. Like, if you dope as fuck, mm. I might not be able to change your life, mm. but I might be able to put you in front of some people that you've been trying to get in front of. I might know this motherfucker. I might be able to create an opportunity to put you in the rest that we might not gain from, mm -hmm. but your situation gonna be different. There you go. You get what I'm saying? Absolutely. I just don't, I don't understand how people don't get that. You can't teach hustle. Mm -hmm. Cause like, you're not thinking community. The biggest though. favor motherfuckers yeah. can do is bring you somewhere you couldn't get to. If you can't man. take it from there, you just sitting over there like, man, let these people know you dope at this. Right. Don't yeah. you see motherfuckers doing what you're doing right, right in front? Didn't right. you say you fuck with them? Mm. Hey. That's, that's jewels. Yeah. Them is jewels. Yeah. Yeah. Like, can't nobody, like, you can't be put on, bro. Mm -hmm. That's why it'd be funny watching all these rappers when they fall out. Oh, he's a fuck nigga. <laughs> he didn't give us shit. Like, right. nigga, you was in the studio. Right. gave you free studio. You had the same cars, the <laughs> same, you took the same. That nigga provided everything. Everything. You just laid around and mm -hmm. didn't take advantage. Then you yeah. could have went in that bitch and said anything. Mm -hmm. You done got all these Instagram mm -hmm. followers, nigga. You could have came up with a little dumb ass song. Yeah. yeah made your own money yeah, and got out yeah, this yeah, nigga pocket right quick. You, know what that be, you was in that bitch smoking anyway. You know what that be? Motherfuckers is more grateful for what they think you're gonna do than what you already done. Man, so ain't you nobody tell a motherfucker, grateful. I'm gonna buy you a house and don't buy the house, they gonna forget about the car you bought. That's the thing about and it. You buy these motherfuckers a house, they won't take the garbage out. God they won't cut the grass. Mm -hmm. They won't they won't they won't even goddamn smoke in the back. They got all in the yard arguing and shit. Damn. They ain't not gonna appreciate God. shit. Motherfuckers don't want you to do nothing for them. They want you to give them what you have. Right. So you don't have it. Right. However much you got, they supposed to have the same amount. What you mean, nigga? Yeah. Give it to me. Can't put nobody on. But that that what I liked about the way LeBron had played this situation. Cause all their homie, they 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 weren't going pro. Mm. But that Maverick Carter and that Rich Paul, mm. he put them in, in uh I forgot the college they went to, but it, he helped them learn the game. He put his homeboys in position to win, like, versus if you look the way Allen Iverson had played the situation, just how old Iverson, maybe 10 years older than LeBron, a little bit more than 10, somewhere. Yeah. And it's just that, that era of hip hop with no internet, he just brought the homies with him. I don't really know, when you listen to Allen Iverson tell his story, the homies, you don't really know what what became of them. But you see what became of LeBron homies. <clears throat> and you see J. Cole tell the same story. He took a nigga that was a, a, a nigga that wasn't going nowhere from his town and showed him, you know, this stage management shit when he was on tour. <clears throat> and the nigga met the nigga who, when you just placed the towel in the, in the water for the nigga, J. Cole, nigga, he met the nigga that did that for Madonna and other people. So. The nigga who just do the little stage shit, he done, he said, damn, I ain't even know that was the thing. J. Cole was just like, nah, just, just do this. Look, I need the towel right here, I need the water right here. First, I'm like, ah. Uh -uh. But then he said he started meeting the nigga who do it for Madonna. And the nigga done told him, well, shit, that how he been able to spin it. He like, shit, I'm just finna be the, the towel water nigga with J. Cole. Stage manager, that's man. what I tell the whole man. Yeah. I'm a stage manager for J. Cole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Shit. Shit. What mean? Shit. All this, all this me. All this me. Yeah. It ain't right. really about what you're doing. It's how you dress that shit up. Right. <clears throat> Don't give me no nothing of important. I, I swear. I'm mm -hmm. a, what? I'm, I'm the director of operations. Oh. <laughs> Nigga, you a driver. That's the same thing. That's the same. I'm, I is. run logistics. It, it is. is. It is. <laughs> Travel coordinator, supervisor. Travel coordinator. <laughs> I get you there. Shot quick, I can yeah, just put, yeah, yeah. What? Give me a bullshit <laughs> job. I don't, I'm not no fucking garbage man. No, I'm into I recycling. Uh, I'm, I'm in Biodegradable I'm in waste material. Management. Sustainability. What? Also. You in waste management. <laughs> Information contact resource salesman. Yeah. I sell paper. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I need you to help me with my shit. Baby. What you do? Something. Exactly. <laughs> <Please>. <laughs> Don't tell people you the CEO. You got to tell them you are the yeah. chief executive operating director. Mm. <laughs> I like that spin. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> director yeah, is something different. Hell yeah, that's yeah. A, that's a handle. Yeah. Yep. Director is a handle. Tell yeah. them you the CFI. Mm. The chief financial investor. That would be a lie. Just but, tell them. Yeah. Who gonna, who, how they going to find out? They ain't going to know. All of it is a lie. <laughs> right. Even... Uh, even for even when it ain't. This is definitely not. Definitely. <laughs> what are you spending most of your time doing? Damn, boy. Putting out fires. Putting out fires. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Already into you an environmentalist. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the chief environmentalist. Officer. Environmentalist, bro. God damn, man. I'm on the ozone reduction just... safety team. <laughs> You's a genius, man. man. Told you. You's a fucking genius. I do what I can, bro. Where can they find y'all on social media and all that? On Instagram, you can find us at Atlanta Influences Everything, at Atlanta Influences Everything. Uh, our website is AIE.life. And uh, Atlanta United just commissioned a 30 foot mural of me and my partners, or my partners and I. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, uh, over in the Edgewood area, 410 Chamberlain, Atlanta, Georgia. Right, right around the corner from Dr. King's home, birth home. That's what's up. Check us out. Bro, yeah. I know, I know Don, Dr. Martin Luther King would have fucked with all of us if he uh, was still yeah. here. Uh, He'd be the cool old granddaddy sure. who'd be sitting there quiet with the 85 <laughs> South Hat. <laughs> Proud. Proud. Proud as hell. Them my niggas. About, uh, about what? what? Four, four day. Oh, yeah. Uh, I wonder what y'all got going on. Yeah, 404 Day. That's uh, We celebrate that every year. 404 Day is April 4th of every year, 404. And um, shit, we just want to check us out. Wherever we are on social media, and we'll tell you what we got going on. Ain't that on. a Monday this year? It's yeah. a Monday this year, but so yeah, what? This my, my birthday on the 2nd, mm -hmm. me and Marvin Gaye, so I, you know, I keep up with that April shit. <laughs> As, you know, Aries sure. season is amongst us. Oh, man. Aries. Hell, yeah. Ain't we got some like dope. We got some dope shit oh, yeah. over here, man. We got Spud Webb, and mm -hmm. Influences, everything. We got my man Prime Time over there. We got, bro, we got to send Prime some of these, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Shout yeah. out, Jackson, shout out man. to Deion Sanders, man. Yeah. 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 Prime bouncing back from and surgery and, and, and things of that nature. And the sweatsuits is cold, too. Oh, you mean like, uh... This one oh, that I have yeah. right here, I can't wait to bust through the airport man, in this right here. On the back. Come on, man. That uh, might be a little yeah, too freaky. Yeah, yeah, I'll be putting the words all on my ass and shit. <laughs> I'm gonna be right oh, yeah, now. And, and we, and we, uh, this Atlanta, that's the last you, place I want a nigga looking site, at. AIE. <clears throat> AIE. Life is our site, but yeah. we put also my shit got a, um, put my shit on the mid back. So we got some shit coming to Foot Locker soon. It's been in Foot Locker, but it's sold out. We got some more stuff coming. For Put my shit on mid back. I don't want no nigga yeah, looking at my ass. ass. He said what? <laughs> nigga look too close to the ass. Too close to the ass. These <laughs> nigga different down here, bro. Yeah, we might want to scoot that up mid back. <laughs> <laughs> now I got to now I got to wear this shit and tuck it in, cause <laughs> I'm at the mall <laughs> causing a ruckus. <laughs> I ain't sweat bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. See, they all up on my ankles and shit. Man, Might just have to wear man. this one on a late night mish. Appreciate you, Fuck bro. around yeah. the house in this one. Yeah. You gonna be all right, man. Ain't damn. Hey, man, you never know. Yeah, next time y'all let the fox, man, go on and just, you know what I mean? You know what? I don't think they gonna let us back up in there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> y'all need to show y'all ass at that fox. <laughs> 
Hey, 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 hey. Smoked a hundred blunts in there. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Them white people just gave up trying to stop that. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> it. One hey, show left. Let them let do it. I'm, I've had it up to here. <laughs> but look, man, we appreciate y'all stopping man. through here and upping us on game, man. And, and I, I'm going to keep it all this shit. I don't know. Yeah. If y'all yeah, know that, that, that shit too hard. Yeah. Appreciate it, man. Thank, Thank y'all. Brady. 85 South, Black Market. And now we're doing it today, man. Mirror coming soon. 30 foot. Crazy shit all over the side of the building. Black Market is open, you bitch.